Jubilee uh, 2018 conference. It was quite an extraordinary uh, experience. I'm an Episcopalian, so um, I, you know, I kind of like praise music, I've decided. The Jubilee Conference was exciting, to say the least. The Jubilee Conference was awesome. Um, it was a great turnout. There's so many problems, but being able to bring people together to kind of walk through those things and give their own ideas was just sort of uh, refreshing. I think the website was one of the cool things that was launched as a result of the Jubilee Conference. I heard a lot of compliments about particularly some of the resource pages and things that were really helpful in directing their attention towards areas of concern and giving them some real tangible tools. That's why I'm excited about the Jubilee Jackson website. Uh, uh, that's such an awesome resource. Had a really great experience. I think it was testament to how much great energy there is in this city and desire to collaborate. Also, just the validity of hearing experts in the field talk about from their unique, more precise perspective, which was able to inform us administer how we can work better together. Actually and authentically, I think the, the most important thing that was going on at Jubilee was the, the, the unfiltered and straight out, full-throated discussion of um, racial equity, uh, particularly among the poor. It was also challenging though. It was, um, it made me examine what I do, especially how I live my life in the kingdom and whether uh, it's sufficient. But the other thing I learned was just the importance of it, the importance of the church's responsibility to the poor, the government's responsibility to the poor. Panels where they would bring all the people who had spoken together, um, I thought were really helpful for people to ask questions. There was one point where somebody asked a question and nobody on the panel knew it. And I had the opportunity to sit and talk with a young pastor, a local pastor, a white pastor. I mean, I was just impressed by how he um, felt like this was something that every pastor in this city needed to be hearing and experiencing and taking back to their congregation. And that's saying a lot because the city of Jackson has a lot of pastors. Since I've lived over half of my life in Jackson, I think I can be now classified as a Jacksonian. I've always prided myself on the fact that I'm self-made. I started working when I was 13 as a janitor in a print shop. Uh, I've, uh, I've never stopped working since. Whatever we built, we built on our own. I realize that I have had a tremendous amount of uh, privileges that have gotten me to where I am. If you're going to be the hands and body of Christ, to walk clearly and, and truthfully towards, uh, towards justice. I think one of the things that was learned from the last conference, that after we left, we left with wonderful ideas and just the way to keep this thing going. It's easy for me to point to church leadership and say, well, y'all should be on top of this, but the church is made up of people. It's made up of individuals, which means me, myself. So um, that's where I'm going to try to start with my own personal responsibility. And uh, I thought that was a really cool moment where they just kind of went down the line and said, I don't know. Um, and it kind of made everybody feel in the room like, oh, okay, well, this this is nice because all the people who should know these answers don't know them. And that just makes it like we kind of realize, oh, this is more, this is a difficult question. It's not something that can be answered with a yes or no answer. I got good feedback from um, the parents that sat in on my session. Uh, I thought that overall it gave people a purpose. Um, I, there are a lot of organizations in the room that I didn't know. I got a chance to meet a lot of people. And I was, again, really encouraged by the energy, by the groups in the room, um, by our plans looking forward and eager to see how our collaboration continues in the future. This right here gave us a tangible way to keep the, keep the work up and to provide resources that some people in the room may know might have known that others may not have been aware of. But I can't wait to, for the next year. It, it was great. I'm looking forward to the possibility of 2019. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of it.